Hi everyone, I'm back here today with a best of 2015, so that's right, it's end of the year and Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you and your family and friends. I hope you had an amazing Christmas and I'm so looking forward to the New Year's. Um, I spent it here in Dubai, well, Christmas, not the New Year's. Um, I spent it here in Dubai and my family and friends were here. I spent time with my nieces and we opened presents and it was absolutely amazing. We ate so much food and then we spent Boxing Day basically just chilling and playing with all the toys that we got. Yes, at this age we still get toys and it's absolutely amazing. So moving on to the best of 2015, I've got a range of makeup products, skincare as well as other bits and bobs that made it to my absolutely top favorites this year and I've enjoyed using each and every one of them and and I'm just gonna go through each one and show you what I've got so the first thing that's up is the Denarche matte foundation and it's an absolutely beautiful foundation the formula is amazing makes my skin looks just really glowing which is kind of odd considering that it's a matte foundation but I have it on today I love breaking this out when I have a special occasion to go to or I want my skin to look especially good it's just really easy to buff it on um, and it's just all around really really good I'm kind of really sad though because NARS has apparently discontinued this foundation they've come up with a new one I think it's the luminous foundation which I also have but just something about that one doesn't quite gel with me and I've just got a I've actually just bought the sheer glow formula just in the same um, shade which is Syracus Syracus I keep thinking yeah it's Syracus it's a medium uh, I think it's called medium dark one and I just love the foundation so really really gutted that they've discontinued it but I'm looking forward to using the sheer glow and I'm trying a few other bits and bobs too just to see if they could replace this one but absolute top notch. Coming in a close second is the Benefit Halo Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation um, and I have this in beige, I'm all the rage. Uh, similar to the NARS foundation, this is really beautiful formula, really nice to use. It's a, I think I believe it's a liquid to powder foundation um, kind of formulation so really lovely to use and I've enjoyed using this. I might take this as a repurchase in the new year when I finish this bottle. Moving on to concealer, I haven't really been using a specific concealer for this year. Um, mainly I've used my foundation and I've just buffed it onto the places, extra product onto the places that I need it most, so under the eyes, on my acne, etc, so acne scars too. So I've used my basically my foundation as a concealer. Um, but I want to draw, I want to give kind of a special mention to the, so this is the Nude Sticks concealer pencil and it looks something like this and it's just beautiful it's really creamy really easy to use I just kind of like put this over the spots that I need to and then blend it out with my pen with my fingers basically and it's really really nice so special shout out to that for eyes I've kept it really simple I haven't actually used a lot of my powder eyeshadows instead I've just fallen in love with cream eyeshadows it's so easy to um, dab some on with my fingers in the morning and I'm out the door so what I've been using a lot of this year is the MAC paint pot in gray work and it looks something like this it's just a really beautiful neutral I'm gonna use the word beautiful a lot of times in this video it's really creamy just lovely it's uh, there's no shimmer on this but it's just a really nice taupey it's kind of a cool brown and it gives a really nice canvas to, to my eyes just to put anything on top of that but also just to use as an alone product and this is one of my, I think I just really enjoy using this, so this is definitely a top-notch product for 2015. But special mention goes out to H&M, so if you watch my H&M haul video, which I'll put the link down to below, I've gotten some of the cream eyeshadows, um, Sirocco and Earth Angel especially, I've enjoyed using, and they also have a absolutely stunning formulation, just really creamy, really beautiful. Um, just love using these. These are kind of more shimmery, so they're also really nice to use on their own. For eyeliner, I'm moving on to a firm favorite. So this has been my favorite eyeliner for the past several years. This is the Physician Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. Um, I think it's called the Eye Enhancing Eyeliner for Brown Eyes, and I have this in the brown. I also really like the black, but I've run out of that, so I've just been using my um, back. What do you call them? Like a 
like a backlog of <laughs> that's crazy um i've just been i have a whole stash of these eyeliners so i'm actually gonna soon run out of these and i don't know where to get them from because i can't find them in europe um i could only find them in australia i'm not going back there anytime soon and they're definitely not available in dubai so i'm not quite sure where to find them if you know do let me know but these are absolutely amazing they go on they don't come off um and they're the only eyeliners that i found that's just completely stay on my eyes they don't get into my crease or run or and you know and they're still there at the end of the day so it's just absolutely absolutely amazing and for going on to mascara so sorry if i'm looking that way i'm trying to look at my list of products for mascara, I have a tried and true favorite, which is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion in brown black. It's just, it does what it says, it gives me volume, gives me length, um, and really easy to use. I love this formula, I love the brush, and I just keep using this, so really great for 2015, but I think I've also said it was my favorite mascara for 2013 and 2012, so it's up there. And then going on to eyebrows. So for eyebrows, I have absolutely love the Soap & Glory Archery Eyebrow Pencil. I think this is the Brow Tint and Precision Shaping Pencil. Um, so this comes with the brow tint at the end, which I don't quite use. It comes with a sort of, um, this sort of eyeliner type product as well as eye pencil on the other side. I've actually just re-bought the Archery Pencil, which is the um, brow... What did they call it? Like a brow wand and the pencil itself because I use that a lot more. But this has been great. Um, absolutely changed my life about eyebrows. So really love enjoying using this. Moving on to the rest of the face for cheeks products. Um, I've got these Dior Creme, I think they're called a Dior Blush Cheek Creme. So these are cream formulation cheek products. How many times would I say cheeks in this video? Also, um, so <laughs> these are cream products and I absolutely love these. They are beautiful. Again, I'm using the word beautiful, but they are absolutely amazing. It's so easy. So when I first tried using these, I was using a brush and it didn't really go on as I would like them to. And then I started using my fingers and it really just performs absolutely amazing. It gives a really beautiful glow to the cheeks. It looks really natural. And I just love these. And then move, and then I kind of just started experimenting with other cream cheek products um, from Ilamasca, from Mac, from Stilla. Love all of them. Really easy to put on. Really easy to blend. Um, you can't really go wrong. So if you put too much product, you can come and just buff them in with your foundation brush, and they just look really natural. Really, really amazing. So loving these. Highlighter, I've been really loving the Laura Mercier, um, I think this is the highlighter in discretion, I think it came out for last Christmas or the last holidays and it's really beautiful. The product itself looks something like this and it's a really warm glow to the cheeks. I have this on right now on the cheeks and just on my um, brow bone and it's again just really beautiful. You know how much I love my highlight products so this is top for 2015 powders um for the last half of 2015 i haven't really been using a lot of powders um if i have to pick a favorite it has to be the mark jacobs i think this is called the perfection powder and it's just really finely milled really beautiful um i've enjoyed using this when i just need a little bit of extra coverage or to take the shine off my face but what i've actually enjoyed using is the guerlain oh hello Okay, um, what I've enjoyed using is actually the Guerlain Meteorites Pearls, which is in the shade 01 Tint Rose, and it's actually really enjoyable. Um, they are quite heavily fragranced, so if you're not a fan of those, I wouldn't recommend these, but they just stay kind of just um, set all the makeup, uh, they give a, f they are finishing powder, so they kind of just set the set the makeup and give a little bit of glow and just makes everything kind of pulls together, so really like using those. For my top picks for lips, I've got four choices for you. So top on my list and what I have on my lips right now is the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. So this is in her Matte Revolution formulation and it is 
can I say beautiful again? It is amazing. So it looks something like this. It's in the matte formula, but it's so creamy, so lovely. It's amazing to wear. Um, I just really enjoy putting this on and it looks so good. This is more of a neutral color. And for a lip pencil, I have here the NARS Provocative Red. Again, this is a um, matte formulation. NARS lip pencils are, again, a really, really great product. Um, I love all of their colors. I wish I had more. I probably do in my stash somewhere, um, but I do wish I had more. The Provocative Red is a really beautiful, again, I'm gonna make this a drinking game, actually. Every time I say beautiful, just take a shot. Um, moving on. So. Provocative red is just a really neutral red. Um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit darker. It's a bit muted, so it's kind of good to wear um, if you want a, a bit of color, but still something quite neutral. And then for an actual um, dark lip color, um, I have this Mac matte thumb, um, lipstick in Eugenie which looks something like this. Again, this is absolutely beautiful, um, goes on really well, and actually just makes me fall in love with dark colors. I was never a fan of dark lip colors until I've um, got into this, so um, props for that. And then for those who of you who like your liquid lipsticks, I have the Bourjois, I think this is called the Rouge Edition Velvet in Plum Plum Girl. Again, another really dark color. It's a bit of a raspberry red and this is again really beautiful amazing goes on the lips really well it's a bit more slightly more drying than the others um, but again it just stays on your lips and it fades away to a really beautiful stain so props to that too for nail colors I have here the nails ink gel effect in uptown uh, really beautiful pink really great for the office or for neutral wear and the formula of this is absolutely amazing um, nails ink is an quite an expensive product. I think it's going for about £20 um, per bottle, but the actual formulation is again really really beautiful. Um, there you go. Uh, it goes on like a, a gel polish, it's super shiny, it lasts for a very long time. I just love this. For makeup tools, I have the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Um, absolutely love this. I use this to, and it's quite dirty. I do need to wash this. Um, I use this buff in my foundation. It's The bristles are so soft. The shape is great and I just love using this. This makes it so easy to buff on my foundation. And also I have the, I can't pronounce this, I think it's Marino. Um, I got this in Paris uh, the last time I was there and it is the nail polish corrector pen and this has made putting on nail polish so easy. Um, if you get any sort of stains on the side of your fingers or any corrections that you need to make, this makes it so easy. I think you can find these correction pens anywhere really, um, but I find this easy to use and it takes off nail polish really well, so cleans up really well, so really really like that too. Moving on to skincare, um, I have the a real purchase actually. This is the NYX Aroma Perfection Purifying Cleansing Gel. I have not fallen in love with a cleanser as much as I've done with this one. Um, the moment it finished, I ran out and got a second bottle and I think this is a constant repurchase for me. It's a holy grail product. I have seen such a change to my skin since I've used this. It makes my skin feel cleaner, more purified, um, cleans out. So my skin has been kind of less irritated, less uh, prone to acne and it's one of those products where where people have said, you know, um, I've seen an instant change in the next day. This is the product that does it for me. So love using this. I was quite surprised because I haven't really used a lot of NYX products, but this is an absolute godsend. For face mask, I have the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Again, I haven't really gotten into mask until masks until I started using these. Um, and it's everyone has said it's really expensive and it works really well for them. And I found that it actually works really well for me too. So it cleans up my skin. Um, you can feel an automatic tightening of the skin also. I'm not sure whether it's meant to actually do that, but it's really good to use. Um, I've so I've also gotten the same version in the cleanser, which I use maybe twice a week. And again it's just it works really well does it what it says it's meant to do um and i love using that 
for moisturizers i don't actually have a picture of the moisturizer or well the actual product in front of me because i've turned the bottle away but it's actually the cetaphil i think it's the it's just the cetaphil moisturizer so it's formulated without parabens without fragrance it's just really clean and i found that using that on my skin my skin has been getting really irritated lately um it's gone really dry and it's gotten sort of patchy and annoyed and I think I've actually developed eczema for some reason which I've never really had before and Cetaphil just cleaned it all up but um, I want to give a special mention to this is kind of sneaky because I basically received this as a Christmas present but I smell this in store and I absolutely love it and it is the L'Occitane um, Meal Mandarin Hand Cream which is the collection they did with Pierre Hermes uh, Pierre Hermes, sorry, and it is absolutely beautiful. I love the formulation and I'm keeping this in my handbag. Well, toner, I've been really loving the Clarins Iris, sorry, toning lotion in Iris and it looks something like this and it is just a really good product. It's without alcohol, it doesn't irritate my skin, it makes my skin feel fresher, cleaner after I cleanse it and it's an absolutely huge bottle. I've actually repurchased this. Um, I'm not quite sure where I put my repurchase bottle. There's a full bottle somewhere, so excuse. This one is actually just nearing the end of its life, so um, once I find it, I will let you know. Last but not least, running up the skincare products is a overall holy grail good product. If there's one thing that you're going to repurchase for 2016, it's going to be the Uriage. I think this is the Aquaprissy um hydrating protective fluid and i don't know what this is or where i found it well i know where i found it so i was in paris with my dad and in my bathroom someone has left this bottle and i absolutely love it it's we're formulated with spf 20 it's i use this as a moisturizer as a primer in the morning or i just put it on when i feel like my skin needs a bit of an extra boost it's a great formula it smells absolutely amazing and it's actually the only product which i consistently use every single morning um i'm one of those people that just i hate putting on sunscreen i hate putting on moisturizer and this is this kind of does both and the formula is amazing love it on to other bits and bobs um, my favorite perfume of this year is this really beautiful um i think i've got this from fragranard it's a brand from paris and my dad bought this for me as a little present when i was there and it's housed in this really really beautiful bottle um with flowers all over it it's called les jardins de fragonard heliotrope gingembre um so it's got notes of ginger in there it's a little bit kind of um sweet and citrusy and kind of spicy at the same time i've really enjoyed using this and just also displaying it on my um, shelves and it's really really lovely for favorite fashion i've loved everything from aritzia this shop is based in the us and i've made some um, couple of orders actually in the last six months of the year and here i've just got an example of a dress i've received um quite recently so it's just really flowy it's got long sleeves it's got like a little tie in the front um they kind of specialize in really just simple beautiful fabric fabrics lovely fabrics um it feels really great on the skin it fits really beautifully and just love they have several brands under the same store so i would recommend you to check it out different accessories i'm actually wearing now um i've got my monica veda rings which i purchased for myself and it's just a trio of rings that come together it's got little semi-precious stones on it um it's just really lovely i like using them together and they kind of give a little sparkle to every outfit. I also want to give a special mention to uh, a present I received from my boyfriend for Christmas and it's this really dainty initialed um, necklace. So it's got a little golden star with S for Shimin and it's got um, his nickname for me just on the little heart in silver. So love wearing this. Favourite handbag? Um, no surprise for anyone who knows me is my Prada double bag. Uh, looks something like this. It's in a beautiful kind of lilac grey. It's got a little, um, the insides has a beautiful just kind of minty green colour. And I've got absolutely everything in here including um, a similar wallet in the same colour. And it's just packed a lot of stuff in there. I use this for work and it's really durable, really lovely to 
bring along, and it's amazing. I love this bag. For favorite book, I don't have a favorite book of this year, but I do have a favorite author, and it's David Sedaris. So he is the funniest person I've come across for this year, and I basically just went out and bought every single one of his books. I've read a couple um, just kind of in October or November, and then just basically went out and got everything uh, he wrote. And he's so funny, so insightful, um, just really beautiful short stories that are easy to take in, so they're just nice to read, so these are really great books. Finally, I'm gonna leave you with a candle, so my favourite candle of the year is these Bath & Body Works. Um, I've got this in mahogany teak wood and it looks something like this. I've been burning this in my bedroom um, for a while now and it smells amazing. It's a combination of really kind of woody, um, a little slightly spicy and it just smells quite masculine so it's a bit different from the kind of usual scents that I like but I really like this. So I have this um, also kind of near my bookshelves and it makes my room feel like a really old library and I just really love this scent. And that's it for my best products of 2015. Leave a comment down below, um, let us know what your best products for 2015 is and I'll leave any of the links that I've mentioned um, in the comment box. So I'll see you in 2016. Bye!